Uh, in this problem, a boy rides a bike at a constant speed of 3 meters per second and applies a force of 100 newtons. And that force is unbalanced. So the question is how much work is done in the first 100 seconds. I'll draw a picture of this I'm using vectors. So initially, there's a force acting in this direction. And that force is 100 newtons and this bike rider will travel with some speed let's just call it s of three meters per second so there is work done a force is acting in the direction that it's moving so it's displacement vector vector or distance vector will be in the same direction of the speed therefore work is done what we're going to do is to compute the amount of work done during the 100 seconds. What I'll do is to write the equation for work. Work is force times displacement, F times D. And let's just take inventory of what we know. It states that there is a force of 100 newtons. Also, It says there's a speed of 3 meters per second and the work is done for 100 seconds. So let's take inventory of what we know. We know that our speed is 3 meters per second. We know that there is a force F acting of 100 newtons through a time of 100 seconds. So to calculate work we need force, oh, we have force 100 newtons and we need displacement. Uh, it doesn't look like we've been provided with displacement. Hmm. So we have two unknowns. We have displacement as being an unknown and work as being an unknown. So since we have two unknowns we'll need two equations. We can recall from kinematics that speed is distance divided by time and if we manipulate this formula by sol or solving it for d I'll multiply both sides by t. t will cancel and I'll rewrite distance is speed times time. So now we have a way to find the distance but instead of solving for the distance and then plugging it in, plugging it in I'm simply going to sub in what d is and I'll rewrite work is force times what distance is that's speed times time. Distance is speed times time so I'll just place S times T. So let's compute or sub in the numbers that is. Work is the force 100 newtons from the problem times the speed 3 meters per second times the time 100 seconds and let's do some cancellation we could write this as meters over seconds. Meters over seconds times seconds will leave us with meters. And the units that remain will be newton meters, which are units of work, which are joules. But we'll do the math here. We'll do 3. So the work done is 3 times 100 times 100. Or 3 times, and we can rewrite 100 as 10 to the 2. And this one is also 10 to the 2. And if we're multiplying 100 times 100, it's the same as doing 10 to the 2 times 10 to the 2. And we know 10 to the 2 times 10 to the 2 will be 10 to the 4. So we end up with 3 times 10 to the 4 Newton meters of work being done. Or if you prefer, 3 times 10 to the 4 joules of work being done on this object.